To install, construct, repair electronic equipment, we try to pre-select the entire kit of parts needed for the upcoming process. Sometimes we rummage in our stores when we need some component, especially if we miss a trifle. All markings are already made on the casing of the item. The circuit is always at hand, and you only need to complete the assembly with the missing item. Some elements of the assembly are color-coded, and we will search for transcripts. We are always short of time, and sometimes even of literature. Take, for example, a domestic zener in a glass case that is color-coded. I should note here that old elements of this type do not match the color bands on the modern versions, at least most of them. There is an old proven method to determine such elements using a power supply and an ordinary multimeter. We also need to connect limiting resistance of about 1.5 to ohm to our improvised device. Moreover, there is not so much to assemble. We also need to connect limiting resistance of about 1.5 to ohm to our improvised device. Moreover, there is not so much to assemble. We load the plus of the power supply with a resistor, the minus to a common wire tester. The second resistor output to a plus tester output. Next, the zener anode to a plus, the cathode to the minus. and raise the power supply resistance from zero to the maximum. The error on the tester scale showed the value of 5.6 volt. This is the rated value of the zener. Now we have determined its exact rate value with this simple device.